Hey everyone, another Adobe Illustrator tutorial in the works here. Today I wanted to just go over a few things as far as setting up your workspace. And by workspace I mean your windows, um, your tool palettes, that kind of thing. Because depending on what you use Illustrator for, um, you might use some of these tools, you might use one of these um, I shouldn't say tools, one of these um, windows, you might use all of them, and as you get working, every second counts. And if you can streamline your workspace, it's going to save you a lot of time. So let's start with a blank workspace, which brings my first little trick here. If you go up to the upper right hand corner, and keep in mind, this is Creative Cloud 2017, so it is the newest version. Um, I'm not sure how many versions back it goes, but look up in your upper right-hand corner and you'll see this little box. Right now it says Essentials. If you click the little arrow and bring your options down, if you click the first one, it's called Blank. So it gets rid of everything around you. So if you are wanting to set up your workspace, a blank workspace is probably the best way to start. And then you can add windows as you start using them. And it kind of gives you an idea of which windows you use the most. So um, also underneath this little drop down, there's a bunch of preset layouts um, that you can look through and, and try out might be might be something useful in there. Um, Essentials has just the basic windows. Um, it seems like quite a few even just for Essentials, but um, if you're working on layout and design, there's a different set. Um, is it going to switch it? It's pausing for a second, of course, because I'm recording. Okay, so layout, you can see brought up different set of windows. It's actually in a different format too. Um, so play around with those. You might want to start, depending on what you're working on, start with one of those. But we're going to go back to blank. And you can bring your windows up, obviously, from the drop-down window. So let's just bring up... I know the ones that I use a lot are... Um, obviously character so we're gonna go down to type character so that's one for sure and I want my color and layers and let's do oh definitely stroke okay so when you bring up windows like that obviously they're like scattered all around and you know, this might all change too if you're right-handed or left-handed. I'm right-handed, um, so I like my tools over on the right-hand side, but you can definitely drag these over to the left. And to this is kind of annoying having all these different windows out here on my artboard. So what you can do is you can drag them. If you click and drag on the name of the menu, and you bring them over to the side. See how when I drag it over that blue bar pops up? And if I release when that blue bar is there, it pops it over to the side. So I'm gonna do that with my color and I'm gonna bring it right underneath my character. I'm gonna bring my stroke down here and then you can keep adding my layers and it kind of condenses them. Oh, yep, let's do libraries too. Libraries. It's way down there at the bottom. And I think you can also, because I kind of like, I like, like right now on the right hand side you can see all your things are expanded, but yet you can't fit a whole lot on there. If I click on my layers, see if I can drag that up. No, I can't. Okay, I want to make them in a bar, so I'm going to drag them. Oh, here we go. So here's another vertical. You can put them there. So you could have two rows here. And then 
when you click in between your your menu window columns here you get an arrow so you can bring this way out you can bring it in so there's some options um, what else window oh your um, tools over here that is your you can bring your tools up of course I'm not going to be able to find it here um, oh here we go tools and I always just use the default so default brings up your tools and again this is movable you can move it anywhere you want you can make it stick to the side and you can also arrange your tools in each one of these in a different order as well if you go to Windows tools and new tools panel label it um, we'll just do it as a test oh it's already in use example So then you can create your own by hitting this plus sign and dragging whatever tools, like if you're only going to use the direct selection, the rectangle, and the hand. You can have this be your own little custom toolbar so that you don't have all of them out. But somehow, some way, I seem to use all of them. So I'm going to stick with the default. Um, let's see, that's for grids. Okay, what I really want is to make this the buttons. Um, oh, there we go. Okay, so I don't like all my stuff showing at the same time. Like, I don't like it all expanded. So if you click these two double arrows at the top, the collapse icons, click those arrows, click those, click those. Now we're going to rearrange, put this under here. There. This is how I like it. And then they're way off to the side, and then I can just work with the layers. So if I click on that, just the layers pops out, or just the libraries, just the character. And again, you can fill this up with however many things you deem useful. Um, and I would, once you get it the way you want it, then I would save it. Um, so I'm going to save this, go up to your little shortcut at the top, and do new workspace and I'm going to do Aaron's workspace. So now everything that I have set in here is saved as this preset and I can call it up anytime I want. So I can go back to a blank workspace. Uh, don't know why this is being so slow. Come on. Oh, I must have saved it under blank. Okay, so blank and errands is the same. Oh well. Um, what else? Oh, we have workspace preferences. Let's try that. There's a little preference shortcut. Um, up in, on your toolbar and if you go to user interface you can kind of switch around if you don't want this gray background you can switch it to a lighter gray an even lighter gray or white um, depending on your preference canvas color can make white canvas is your 
background behind your document. And there's a few other um, options you can click in here. Auto collapse, icon panels, which is over here. Open documents as tabs, large tabs. Um, so play around with those two. You can even change your scroll buttons. And then I, I don't want to save any of this, so I'm going to hit cancel. Otherwise, you would just hit OK. I like my workspace the way I have it, but feel free to play around and make your own custom workspace. Hopefully this helped you out, and if you have any other questions, just let me know.